Oh my goodness, life, man. Life will throw some. Hi guys, and welcome back to my channel. I am Mahogany Aguimi, and I just want to thank you guys for tuning in. Let's get into it. Today, we're gonna try and put this together. So honestly, I wanted to bake cookies. After making a house, Aldi had this like haunted house um, that I had put together back in October. And after making that, and it tasted like paper, I was just like, you know what? I don't even want to do the gingerbread house for Christmas. I was like, I'm just gonna make cookies. Like at least with cookies, I know I'm gonna like it and it's gonna taste good. Um, but then when I was in Target, Target had all these different types of houses. They didn't even have houses. Like you could do a football field, it was a stadium. Um, it was a Target store. Um, it was a bunch of like different gingerbread houses. And still, I wasn't going to do it even seeing that because I was just like, oh, I don't like gingerbread houses. Like, they're cute to make, but I don't care about cuteness. I'm trying to see what you taste like. Nah, I'm just kidding. But, um, I saw this and this one is actually a co cocoa flavored cookie house. Well, not it's cookie house because it's a hot cocoa stand, but... The cookie part is supposed to taste like hot cocoa. So I was like, all right, bet. Actually, now that I'm thinking about it, I hope this is gonna taste good because the haunted house that I did was chocolate and that didn't taste good. I'm kinda, I don't know, but she's super cute. I'm gonna try and put her together. On top of that, I just wanna talk to you guys. Just the, I'm like handling this so weird. I feel like I'm in a infomercial. You think, you guys think I could be a, a, what's it called? A hand model or a commercial model? I'm just like, Target. Um, let me see. So this is the house. And then this is decoration. It also came with, I forgot to tell you guys, it came with two packs of hot cocoa. I made one already, so yeah. Um, but I'm not in a hot cocoa mood, I'm being honest with you guys. So I'm sipping on her very slowly. So I'm gonna put this to the side because I honestly don't need it. Um, and then more decorations. We got icy tubes. Oh my goodness, y'all. I love, 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 love. I love gingerbread houses that come with the icing tubes like this instead of like the piping bags. It's just, it's way easier, it's less mess. I could just do what I need to do and then throw it away. Do this more, please. This is the icing. We got a piping bag. And then we got sprinkles. So we're gonna throw, I'm gonna put this right here just so I could make sure I'm doing what I need to do. Hold on, me. Let me get myself together. Okay, so it says the first thing that we need to do is knead and massage the icing pouch. I cannot believe it's Christmas, y'all. This is crazy. Well, it's not crazy. What's crazy to me is that New Year's is next week. That's what's crazy to me. I just feel like this year This year it's just been a doozy. Like, I'm grateful for this year. I've learned so much in this year. It's like not even funny. But the fact that it's just next week, I feel like literally last week, it was just Christmas. Like, I don't know. I just really feel like this year just like flew by so fast. It's like, oh Lord, I didn't. All right, it's time to put this in the bag because I didn't poke the hole in it. But I just feel like this year just went by super, super fast. And I don't know. I, I finally get what adults say where they're like, 
don't ever waste your time or waste your focus on nonsense because life will literally slip by you and I feel it because this year slipped by me but I'm grateful for where I'm at and I'm grateful for everything I learned and I'm just I'm grateful for everything that this year has brought me because honestly last year this time last year I was not happy <laughs> if I'm being honest with you like this time last year I spent Christmas by myself I spent Christmas by myself the guy I was dating at the time he left out of town to go spend Christmas with his family um the person who I was best friends with at the time I was supposed to spend Christmas with them but then we ended up getting into it on Christmas Day so I ended up leaving her house and just grabbing my gift and dropping her gift off and going home and I just went home I cleaned my house um I made me some beef and broccoli actually no I made me some shrimp and broccoli and then I watched Shang 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 Chi Shang Chai I it's, it's I'm, I feel like I'm saying it wrong and I'm mad I'm saying it wrong but if you know you know it was the Marvel movie and I'm watching that I went there by myself in my apartment and then honestly I didn't even end the night in my apartment because the apartment that I lived in before this one which is why I say I'm so grateful the apartment I lived in before this one was literally garbage like it was trash it wasn't bad bad but basically I had lived in this like cheap um, studio apartment the apartment was so small like the apartment was literally the size of my living room and then my bathroom yeah that was the size of my apartment it was literally the size of my living room and my bathroom the kitchen was so small I hated cooking in it just because it was so tiny I had one little tiny counter space and my microwave took over more than half of it so I, I literally had a tiny tiny space um there was no room i had like that's good i had like two cabinets um in there and then on top of that only having the two cabinets like i could barely fit food in there um so that was just overall it was just it was ghetto not even gonna lie to you and hold on i feel like i'm being so greedy like, on top of the apartment being small, it was literally just one of those like, you know, um, apartments that are near college campuses. It's kind of like New York in a way, in a sense, where like it's super small, it's the size of a closet and they charge you mad money. Thank God um, at the time when I moved to it, it was literally like pre-COVID, almost going deep into like when COVID got bad. Um, so that's when like a lot of people went virtual nobody was really on campus so nobody was really renting out rooms so I ended up being able to snag that apartment I think my rent my rent was $7.85 a month and at the time that was all I could afford um so that was my first apartment it was the only thing I could afford I wasn't in the job I was at now so I wasn't getting paid that much so it was literally the only thing that was in my budget and I snagged it so yeah it looked cool when I first got it little did I know a couple months down the line like the apartment was infested y'all infested with mice so i'm already sad it's christmas day i'm in my apartment i'm eating shrimp and broccoli not even gonna lie that shrimp and broccoli was busting i did what needed to be done with that shrimp and broccoli but i'm in my apartment i'm alone i'm mad because i was literally supposed to spend it with my friend but she was having her own little issue with whatever she had going on on top of me being sad that I was like I just wasn't in the Christmas spirit at all like I was in an apartment I wasn't happy and I had a lot going on in my life and it was, it was just like I just was not in a Christmas spirit at all I feel like she wasn't in a Christmas spirit either but she was trying to force herself to be back in a Christmas spirit she just had two people two hormonal people in a room together Ugh, it was just ghetto but basically, yeah, we didn't get into it. I left, so I'm dealing with the fact that I'm alone in my apartment by myself. Um, I just got into it with my friend. Well, ex-friend, because we're not even friends no more. Isn't that some foreshadowing? Um, but yeah, I got into it with my friend. And that's just that. I'm sitting here thinking like, wow, I can't believe this is happening right now. I can't believe this is me. But then like after I made my shrimp and broccoli, because I'm telling you, it was bust out. People say food 
don't make you feel better. Whoever said that is a lie. They are a lie. Because I promise y'all, once I went home, cleaned my house, and cooked and ate, and I was watching a movie, I was perfectly fine. I, I was perfectly fine. Like, literally after I ate and I watched my movie, I pulled out my journal. No, I made my vision board. That's what I did. I made my vision board. I journaled. I said where I wanted to be and my goals. And then I was about to go to sleep. I was literally about to go to sleep. I was on my bed. I remember I was on my bed. I was laying down. I was about to go to sleep. And all of a sudden, I just heard just screeks. And I remember just like jumping on my bed and screaming. I was just like, bro, what the is this? And like literally, I don't know how to describe it, but it just sounded like it was a horde of mice just in my house. And it sounded like one of them died and the crew found of, of the, the, that they homie died and they were all screaming and pain and sorrow and tears because it just sounded like it was a herd of them and i remember just like running out my um apartment and just in the hallway just like screaming and crying like you know when you're already having a bad day and you're just trying to hurry up and get home and then you get home and like your keys or your jacket get stuck on the door handle and you're just like you know what and you just break down like hearing the mice in my apartment was literally my key getting stuck in the door long story short i ended up i was so scared to go back in the apartment i ended up just grabbing whatever i can and i ended up staying at a hotel that night and that was my christmas and the only reason why i'm bringing this up honestly and the only reason why i want to talk to you guys is because even though that was my christmas last year now here we are a year later i'm in like a totally different space why well, i feel like i'm missing pieces i was just thinking about it i was been thinking about it honestly all this week and it's just like it's crazy where life will literally take you like this time last year i was spending christmas alone and now this year i'm spending it with my family um and i'm just in a totally different space i'm in a way better apartment way better apartment um i'm in a way better position financially um and just overall mentally and emotionally i'm in a way better um spot than i was a lot of times when we go through things you know well of course i mean naturally when you're going through something you're going to automatically just you know feel like why is this happening to me like i can't take this anymore like what's going on this is too much and not even gonna lie that's how i felt at the time it took a lot of time to get to know myself like i love that apartment even though it it was mice infested i love that apartment because so much growth happened in that apartment so much growth i learned so much about myself i accomplished so many goals in that apartment like My cocoa stand is so ugly. She need to get it together. How do I think my stand look? She look cute. She looks bad. I suck at doing these. I should just got a house. I don't know why I thought I could do something so intermediate. Ciao. Up and the reason why I'm chatting with you guys today while I'm making this ratchet cocoa stand um it's because i just want to let you know that life is going to throw hard balls at you life is going to do some crazy stuff some disrespectful stuff to be honest with you and there's no way around it life is just always going to do its thing and one of the biggest things that i learned is that sometimes Oops. With life, you just can't let certain challenges or... Oh my goodness, y'all. I don't... This one's doing good. Do, maybe I just need to add more icing. But what I'm trying to say is you just... You can't let life and its challenges that it throws at you defeat you. Everything that life handed me this year, I didn't let it get to me. I didn't let it bring me down. 
I didn't let it make me give up on what my end goal was. If anything, it pushed me to just keep going, to keep going and to not give up. Because looking back at it, um, if I didn't sit and get my money up at that apartment, I wouldn't be here right now. Y'all, I do not think this cocoa house is gonna happen. If this wall one more time, she turned into a cocoa house. I would have let all that get to me. I probably, I would have gave up. Honestly, looking back, I would have gave up and I wouldn't be where I'm at, to, where I'm at now. And now, it's, that's why it makes me think of it because Christmas is literally here. New Year's is next week. And I'm just like, wow, look at where I was a year ago and now look where I'm at now. Like, this is just the beginning. Like, look how I was able to turn what I was going through a whole year ago Man. she's not good well let's this was a total fail next time Next time, I'm gonna just get a house. This cocoa stand. Yeah. This ain't it. This ain't it at all. She is not staying together, and these little things are not staying up. And I'm like, my table is such a mess right now. So we gonna give up on the stand and I'm just about to Uber eat me some food. Right Panther? You gonna help me? This pound? Okay. <laughs> I'm about to head out y'all, but basically I just wanna say, you never know where your life is gonna be one year, two years, three years, four years, five years down the line. What you're going through right now may feel heavy, and I know it probably is heavy because at the time what I was going through with not knowing where I was gonna live, trying to find a new apartment, not having a car, not making enough money, I just thought this can't be life. And I know for sure this is not adulthood. And I know for sure I don't have to do this for the rest of my life. And I was just thinking like, dang, like, why is this happening to me like why am i going through this like why do i have to go through this like there's people out there who get shit handed to them like why am why do i have to work so hard like and i'm working so hard and why does with me working so hard like challenges keep getting brought to me hardships keep coming to me and i just want you to know like you may be thinking the same exact way i was thinking but don't give up stay strong keep working keep going keep pushing towards your goals because i promise you it don't even have to be a year from now it could be six months from now three months from now you're gonna look back and be like you know what i'm thankful that i went through that i'm grateful that i went through that because honestly if it wasn't for everything that i went through last year i wouldn't be where i'm at now where i get hit with hardships and instead of me sitting there and just being like man why i'm automatically thinking like okay this is what's handed to me how are we gonna fix it? What I gotta do to get it done? No matter what you're going through, I promise you, you can get through it. I promise you there is a rainbow at the end, a light at the end of the tunnel. Stay positive, keep pushing, keep moving. And remember, always surround yourself around positive people. Always surround yourself around people who are gonna build you up. If you're the only person in your circle building yourself up, you need a different circle. Don't give up on your dreams. Don't give up on what you're working for. Example, I tried recording this video for three days now. This is like my eighth attempt at recording this video. Imagine if I would've gave up. This video wouldn't be here. And I wouldn't be here talking to y'all with my messed up cocoa stand. And I think I have icing on my face, but I don't care enough to check. Don't give up. I promise you life gets better. Don't give up, chase your dreams, work for them, crush them, and continue just being amazing.
and continue excelling. Well, on that note, I'm gonna go ahead and say goodbye to you guys. I ate way too much icing. I'm high key a little lightheaded. I need to get some food in my system before I pass out because this is way too much sugar. On top of that, there's icing all over my coffee table. So yeah, and Panther's messing with the ring light. So I just feel like uh, in a combination, all this that I just labeled, I feel like this is a perfect and good note to end in. I just want you guys to have an amazing holiday, spend time with your loved ones, spend time with the people who you love spend time with people who you care about and don't take any of that for granted at all just this time last year i was spending christmas by myself so don't take anything for granted don't take anybody for granted live life to the fullest achieve everything you want to achieve don't care what anybody has to say because people are going to talk about you to the day you die they're gonna talk about you for anything. You could be the most happiest, positive person in the world and people will talk about you until you're too happy. So don't don't care about what anybody has to say about you. It's not, it's not what they say, it's what you answer to that really matters. So stay true to yourself, stay being yourself, accomplish everything you want and don't ever let anything, any situation, anybody ever hold you back. I love you guys and I hope you guys have an amazing holiday. Bye.